Yo, what's up guys? Patrick here. Welcome back. And in this question, what we got to do is we got to find the constants a and b, uh, this piecewise function here, so that it's continuous for all x values. So notice we got three pieces here. This piece when x is less than negative 2. This piece over here when x is between negative 2 and 1 and inclusive of both of those. And then this piece here when x is greater than 1. So notice that for this piecewise function, there's actually two meeting points. So this piece and this piece are going to meet at this x value of negative 2. So that's one meeting point. And then this piece and this piece are going to meet at this x value of 1. And so what we have to make sure is that at this x value of negative 2, this piece and this piece have the same y value. So it's continuous. So basically the limit as we're approaching this function, um, the limit as we approach negative 2 of this function from the left side has to equal the limit as we approach negative 2 for the right side of this function here. Right? So those y values are going to have to equal. And then the limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of this function has to equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right side of this function. And because we have two unknowns, a and b, we're going to have to make two equations. Now, before we get into that, one thing I want to mention is notice that for an x values, for x values less than negative 2, this function is always going to be continuous, no matter what this a value is, no matter what constant it is. Because you could plug in any x value that's less than negative 2 for here and here, and it's never going to be undefined. Notice that this piece is going to be continuous for x values between negative 2 and positive 1. Notice here that this function is going to be discontinuous at an x value of negative 3, because it's going to make that denominator equal to 0. So there's going to be a vertical asymptote there. But notice that this function is not defined for x values um, that are negative 3. It's only between negative 2 and positive 1, right? So this function here is going to be continuous in that interval right there because that negative 3 where this part is discontinuous is not within that interval for this piecewise function. And then notice that this here is going to be continuous for all x values greater than 1. Notice this square root's always going to be positive for all x values greater than 1. And then this ln here is going to be positive for all x values greater than 1. So that's another thing I wanted to mention before we get into these meaning points. So basically, what you got to do here to create these two equations now is at this meaning point, negative 2, this and this have to be the same. So all we would do is we would plug in negative 2 for all the x values, right? So if we plug in negative 2 for these x values, that has to equal 3b over uh, negative 2 plus 3 is just going to be 1. And then we're going to have plus a. And then if we plug in negative 2 here, we would have 1 minus 2 times negative 2, which is 1 plus 4, which is 5. The absolute value of 5 is just 5. So this would end up being 5a over here. And then this one we don't have to put. And then for this meeting point, this x value of 1, this and this have to be the same. So we would plug in 1 here, so we would end up having 3b over 4 plus, if we plug in 1 here for this x, we'd have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1, so that would just be positive a, a times 1, which is just a equals, we would plug in 1 for this x value, 3 times 1 minus 2 is 1, ln of 1 is just 0, so I'm not going to write that, and then 1, 2 times 1 plus 7 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, so we would end up having 3b over here. And these two here are basically our two equations that we're going to have to work with to solve for a and b. And then whatever values we get for the a and b here, those are the values that would make this whole function continuous. 
right? It's going to be continuous at those meeting points. Those Y values are going to be the same. So uh, I'm going to actually erase this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So negative 2 to the power 2 is 4. So we would have 4A. 2 to the power negative 2 is like 1 over 2 to the power 2, which is 1 over 4. So this here would simplify to minus 1 over 4. And then we would still have 3B plus 5A there. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the 4A over. So we'd have 5A minus 4A. So we'd have 3B plus A, right? 5A minus 4A is just 1A. And then we'd have the negative 1 over 4 still here. And then what I'm going to do is multiply everything by 4 just to get rid of this denominator. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm personally going to do that. So negative 1 equals 12B plus 4A. By the way, at this point, there's so many different ways to solve for this A and B. So as long as you're getting the same answer that I'm going to get at the end, then you're all good. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through it the way I would. So got rid of the denominator here. And now over here, what I'm going to do with this equation is multiply everything by 4 to get rid of this denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 4. So that would just be 3B plus 4A equals 12 b like that right and then this 3b i'm going to bring over so basically 4a equals uh 9b like that and now notice that we have a 4a here and we have a 4a here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take this 9b and i'm going to plug it in for this 4a so this would be negative 1 equals 12b plus 9b so we'd have negative 1 equals 21b. And so b is equal to negative 1 over 21. That's one of the answers. And then from here, what we can do is uh, we could just plug in this b over here. So we would have 4a equals 9 times negative 1 over 21 is negative 9 over 21. Divide both sides by 4. And dividing by 4 is like multiplying this by 1 over 4. And so this would end up being negative 9 over 84. And then from here, we can actually simplify this. We could divide the numerator by 3, the denominator by 3, and we would end up with negative 3 over 28. And so that's the simplified A value. We could have also reduced here negative 3 over 7. And that would still give us negative 3 over 28, right? So this A value of negative 3 over 28 and then this B value of negative 1 over 21 would make that original piecewise function that we had continuous for all X values.